Hello, baby. Come on, come on, come on in. Oh, I hope I don't knock everything over. Good morning. Let's do this. Let's get to our Monday morning feels. Guys, it is very early. Yes, I'm this energetic. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to do this. I have a reading uh, at 6. So, we got... To, we have to get up and we have to get this done earlier. All right. All right, guys. So let's go. That's why I'm looking crazy. My walking clothes, but it's okay. I feel it. I'm feeling it. I did a great you versus them. Went out with the babies and a friend yesterday. And I just, I couldn't wait to get out of my van to come read that you versus them. I don't know why. I, I know why. I got a lot of insight on what all this closure, all this world card's about by not only a friend of mine that does astro astrology, Australia, maybe somebody's in Australia listening, but also does, uh, I also watched a few vi videos. Guys, what is happening is, is Pluto is about to hit into Aquarius. Last time Pluto moved was in 2020, in March 2020, and we all know what happened then, okay? And then you also got uh, Saturn moving in to out of Aquarius into Pisces. And I still am working on this planetary thing to connect with my cards. Why? That's why I dug deeper about why this world card keeps coming up. And that is what is going on. Okay. We also got a full moon going into Virgo. That's perfection. That's success though. So guys, it's going to be, and, you know, Pluto when it, how it was explaining to me when it hits, it's going to break down a lot. So you will close out a lot because it's going to break, break down a lot. Guys, I'm sorry about that light in the background. My room would be dark. Um, it's irritating me and my glasses, but literally this room would be very dark right now. Led by God, guided by you. I've been feeling this corner again and not out there. I don't know what it's up. I love this little corner. Led by God, guided by you. Guys, I got the deal of the year on my solar. I got the generators. There's a lot of power already in it. I'm just uh, waiting for my brother to tear down the wall that I just bought paper and uh, get this stuff going. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to start enjoying it more than sleeping in it on the weekends, but we got to get going in it. That's one out. Thank you. I just felt a rush of calmness. So that spirit telling me, calm down, get to the reading. There's no one else is here to you. I listened like a child just now. I was like, <laughs> oh, deception. Okay, guys, there's something deceptive in your world. Could be uh, somebody at your job, it could be a friend. A family, a partner, um, but and it's dishonesty. You know, somebody's being dishonest or sneaky in your energy. You're single, okay? Or they're single? Or are they telling you you're this single and they're not? Wisdom, you know something's up. You got the answer. All right, you have the experience. Uh, in this situation that you know you know the answer you're being guided let's go to thursday new love i'm telling you this probably is something new stress let's go sideways of course I gotta get my sister some better TV stands, but I like them because I think they were like my family's or something, my grandparents or something. They walk. And when I don't want to go out that, that this works fine. And I'm not bringing in my big old holy, it's a heavy table that. All right, so your money's gonna look better, guys. Will the fortune you're moving into great money? Money might have had an influence on this situation. 
So maybe this could be a job. I'm really feeling, which is fine. But you're going to take it as it resonates. You may be leaving it or cutting somebody or something out. They're in romance, so... Using the Grand Lux today. I like this one again. I'm feeling it again. It's coming back around into my energies a lot when I go through my cards to see which one I'm going to use. Somebody's stuck and stuck and somebody's stuck. It is. You guys know my shuffles don't go like that. Oh my God, they're stuck. They're a mess. All right, guys, let's pull it together for whosever energy this is. I got to get out of that. I don't know whose energy that just was, but you're going to be okay. Justice is coming, okay? Maybe you're forgiven. Uh, some apology and forgiven. Enough to close out something. That is really... Led by God, guided by you. So, uh, thank you. I do shuffle these before, but guys, they're not ready. They're not ready when I pick them up. And I also love for you guys to see me shuffle so nobody can ever say, oh, you didn't shuffle the dead from the last week. Yes, I did. And most likely it's been out in the sun charging and burning off energy. Most likely it's been under the moon, new or old. Let's go. There might have been an ending this, but those ten of swords are some definite deception and betrayal. Okay. It can't get any uglier than that. Well, I could. I have some cards where it's actually in the back and there's blood, but ten of swords. What's going on? What's going on with this deception? What is happening? Toxic. Oh, guys. Deception, Ten of Swords, the Devil. I wonder if this person is heavy and a mess. Like my cards, these are a heavy deck anyways, but this is not even like, I don't even feel like I'm doing this right right now, the way they, they're so, and somebody wants to tell their story. Page of Wands in reverse, Kid of Wands in reverse, well, Okay. Okay, guys. Somebody was definitely it took the spark right out of this with something so toxic and so gross. It still could be a job, guys. I don't care what this romance says. Something was very toxic. Gross. What happened here? Single? Why are we single? Guys, for some of you, that isn't uh, this isn't pertaining to a job. Somebody really, really put ten of swords in your back with that devil next to it. Taking the spark, taking the, uh, inspiration out of you and the situation. And you're happy to be single. You're happy to be on your own. Yep. After that, I would too. Stand on your own. That's gross. That's some really horrible, awful energy. You're happy on your own. You're happy to be single. Lots of tens. Oh, I'm wrong. So you got options. I, I read that as the ten of cups by accident, guys. It's not. Sorry. 
You have lots of options, okay? But, or you're confused. Because now I'm confused. I got a lot of cloudiness in my head, guys. And I woke up very ready to go with my double shot of espresso and my walk wasn't long and it was cold. So there were some money and financial issues here. Um, <coughs> it may be that, excuse me, money has gotten in the way of this. Somebody may have betrayed somebody else because of money. Um, which that's very, that could be very toxic if you feel that, you know, you put money before love or friendships. Now, if this is a job, then somebody didn't give you what you deserved. So I believe you're completing this out because it's it's not abundant for you. It's not worth it for you. And um, it could be about money, guys, because I've got Ten of Pentacles in reverse and then I got money, okay? And it says unbalanced finance have hindered your romantic or your job or whatever. But you know what to do. And you're completing it out, okay? How are they completing this out? What is going on? By stressing out, it's not going to help, guys. Do not stay in anxiety, fears about whatever it is. Maybe you just have a lot of fear around money. And that's what taught, what, that you're deceiving yourself probably here. Or somebody's led you to believe that money's like the end all be all. No, guys. You can't die and take your money, but you have to die and take your soul. And if your soul hasn't been fulfilled in this life because you put money in front of it, remember that for your next life. The money you cannot die with, your soul you can. And is your soul pleased? Souls don't get pleased by material things, guys. They get pleased by love and they get pleased by attention and they get pleased by people caring about them and not money. People, souls light on fire because they're being put first. And pe somebody stays loyal to them on and beyond anything with money. I hate when money comes up in my ways. I hate it. But it has to be because there's so many people that, and trust me, there's so many people that will put, pick material things and money over you. And they will. And it's been done to me. Period. They will. But is that soul on fire? I don't know. But I know it was when she, it was with me. Okay. You guys are within, but it's only causing you anxiety. You are being told to come out. You're wise enough to come out of that anxiety. You're within, but only with a lot of swords up in your head, okay? You have the wisdom. Get out of this. And maybe it's you need to go in. For some of you, I'm getting you need to go in. Because you have this anxiety. But some of you, you're within and you need to get out of your head. And you need to get those nine of swords out of you, okay? It's reducing. Ten to nine. I like it. Get out of your head. Slowly you are. Alright, I like it. And Knight of Sword, no, I mean, Knight of Pentacles is, uh, 
slow to act, very slow. I mean, if you're gonna get that guy to get up, no. Um, he's not like the Knight of Wands or the Knight of uh, Swords. He's very slow, but he's very grounded, very practical, and very loyal to the fault. So you're moving slowly in the direction of finding people and finding things around you that is loyal, practical, grounding. But you've yet to see that because you still got all of this. But you're completing it out. Or at least you're being asked to. Divine saying, complete this out. It's... But I see you are. Because I, like I say, I'd like to see the reduction. When I see like ten of swords, I'd like to see the nine. I'd love to see the eight to go to, you know, take them down. Swords are hard anyway, so they're harsh. What's going on over here with money and will of luck? I like this energy right here in this little corner. Yeah, you're putting an end to the ways you, you or someone else has projected their energy on you. Some of you, it's your way of thinking. Some of you, it's been projected on you. But it's done. It's done. You're putting a rest to it. You're, you're transi transforming, transitioning, whatever you want to call it. You're putting a death to it. You're putting it into the way you think. Because you're not going to think about money the way other people do. Because it's gross too. Look at this. I'm a god. Like I said, you could die with your soul. You can't with money. You're fighting victorious, victory in this after some sneaky ass shit. You've made a choice to, oh, Queen of Pentacles. I like it. You're up and, see? Now, I like those to go down, but I like the Pentacles to go up. Okay, so you went from Knight to Queen of Pentacles. So you're progressing all the way through this. So this, I'm not telling you, I don't believe I'm telling some of you things that you don't already know. But maybe you're just here for that confirmation. Three of cups. Yeah, you're going to, how beautiful. You're putting an end to that money and you're going to you flow into three of cups. After you do the transformation work, you put an end to whatever this shit is and you celebrate. You come together with people. Maybe you find a new soul tribe. Maybe you find a new lover. Maybe you just find celebration within yourself because up here I already said you're okay on your own. Never and a new offer is going to come your way. Maybe my shirt is all big. I don't know. I bought these from my mom and she didn't like them because they stretched or whatever. So I kept them for laziness. And yes, sometimes, guys, I'll be dressed up on this channel. And yes, sometimes I will come on here in my hiking clothes and my lazy clothes. I like it. I like it. Like uh, Molly and Sass say, uh, real life reflects real tarot. I'm a real person here. Okay, so you're getting a new offer of something that is rejoicing. Something is better in the will of fortune. Because you simply are doing the work. You're simply putting an end to something that is not making sense to you. Something that is not right. Okay? And you're staying loyal to yourself. And you have to right now. You really have to hone in your loyalty and your heart right now with this nine of swords. Okay? But you are. That's why you're putting that death to this and to that. You're completing it out. But you need to put a death uh, and to the way you're thinking, I believe. This is a transformation of the way you thought or somebody's asked you to think or feel or the way you actually looked at it and you put an end to that. Like, that's not how it should be. Loyalty should be what it should be. Happiness, abundance, with joy and love and laughter. Yeah, nobody wants to be in a relationship where you're broke, I get that. And nobody wants to take care of somebody else, I get that. But there's things that, you know, there's got to be relations where somebody makes more. It's okay. For them, some people know, I'll be honest, no, it's not okay. 
But um, you're getting a new solid ass offer that's going to bring you your own abundance. You're going to start with one pinnacle and then you could grow into the tent. Let's go. Why is this romance here? Clarity on it. Yeah, you're getting clear on it. You're getting clear on the fact that, yeah, there was some toxic ways in there. I could have had my toxic ways in there as well. But somebody is definitely, definitely put something in this that I needed to come clear about what love is really supposed to be. And that, that you or them is, is really getting the clarity of what love is supposed to be. Somebody is smartening up that you can't die with your money, but you can die with the love in your heart. What are you guys guarding or fighting? What's going on here? Okay, you're fighting. You're going to work. You're going to work hard. It, you're guarding yourself. You're fighting through life, knowing that you're going to be all right. You got the clarity that all you got to do is fight and work hard for what's yours. And there's nothing great owning all of your own stuff. And there's nothing better than being okay on your own because all you want is loyalty. People don't think uh, money can't be a third party. I could sit here and guarantee you it can be. Third parties are not just another person. It's energies, it's things, it's, it's anything that could be put in the way. And if somebody back here has made you feel with deception and stuff, not good enough because of money. They, they, I don't know. I, I, I can't tell you they don't love you. I have to look at my own situation on my own. And when I was in this, I just, by the end, I just knew she didn't ever love me. She loved the idea of me, but she never loved me, ever. So, you have to put an end to the way this of this thinking because whatever they put on you to think is not right because these tens these swords would not be here like this this ten of pentacles would not be here like this this devil would not be standing here next to a page of kid of wands upside down so you got your clarity you're going to head right into yourself put the work in Make your own, do your own, move out on your own, whatever it is you're doing, but you, and you're going to run into a big pinnacle and a new offer that's going to make you happy. And that could just be you and a soul tribe, like I said. We don't need to be in relations to be happy. Soul tribes, your family, things that actually touch your souls, things that could actually touch you, hug you, is what's important and that's what you're going after and that's what you're gonna get okay guys every day fight for your soul every day because like i said it goes with you and that's the only thing on this earth that goes with you is your soul and your soul carries your heart Let your heart be bigger. Complete this out. Okay, guys, and you are. And we don't really have choices right now because here comes Pluto smashing into um, Aquarius. And you got Saturn coming right on into Pisces. And you got your Virgo full moon coming in. Like, guys, it's going to be crazy this next week. Just, you know, you know what's good for you. You know what's not good for you. Don't let nobody else tell you how you are. You're good enough. You always will be. And you always have been. Is this somebody here is trying to tell you you're not? <laughs> That's probably an insecurity of their own. Because you absolutely are.
Yeah, go travel. Go see the world. Be vulnerable. Talk to your friends. Get, get people involved with you. Do it with grace, okay? Accept what is. You have to accept what is. This is not thought. Is this all useful? No, but growth is. Face this situation head on so that you can grow. Being with nature, go out. I'm telling you guys, go out, go out. When I was going through it, I was hiking. I was feeling Mother Nature. I go out anyways. You shouldn't just wait for something to happen. Get those vibrations raised up every single morning. And I'm going to tell you, it's hard for somebody to shit on your day. And get the support you need, guys. Everybody needs support. Everybody needs support through things, okay? When you push people away, it's harder to go through your own things, okay? And maybe there is, maybe you have to find a new support system. There may be a whole bunch of people that think this way in your, your life. And you're growing and you're changing out of it and you don't think this way. You protect your heart, you protect your soul. You guys be blessed, you be well, and I'm out of here. Bye for now, guys.